how do you remember all the things you're gonna say in a speech? I get that a lot. So now in this episode of Professional Speaking, I'm gonna show you how you can remember all the things you wanna say in a speech. And at the same time, we're gonna talk about the power of stories. At the end of the video, I will show you the technique I use to memorize all of these cards. So let's begin. Here we have 80 cards, which we can look at as kind of 80 different items to use in a one minute speech. So let's see how the speech will be remembered. First, there was a cat who took a rocket ship because he wanted to go and buy a new shirt. But he decided to drive home again because he was so thirsty he really wanted to have some coffee. With his coffee he wanted to have a wafer, but then suddenly he started feeling something that was tickling his toe. What was that? Oh no, it was an ant! Uh, it's like, oh, I cannot drink coffee anymore, I need to drink some wine. I think I should drink my wine together with my friend, the seahorse. Oh, I think I need to call my friend, the dolphin. But instead, the one who answered was the sea snake. And he chased us all the way up into the tree that looks like a lung, but it is a tree. In that tree lived a bear. The bear said, I would you like to go and do some painting with a paintbrush? I said, oh yeah, sure. What color do you want? I want to have flamingo pink. Uh, and then he said, well, do you have any tools? Well, I have a hammer and I have a tongue, tongue thingy. And that's good because we have all of these bees, these angry bees. They are angry as a pirate. And the bees would fly up to the top of the skyscraper and build a nest in a tongue in a cactus of all places. Now I said cactus, that means like I can have some cactus tea, like make a pot of tea. Uh, and then I can drink the tea and I can play my guitar. Oh, I'm so hungry, I think I need to eat some tuna and I can also maybe have a banana dinosaur. Oh, and then the bear said, well, I can play my violin with you. And we put all the story into a big golden frame. Now, once upon a time, there was a queen who lived together with her superhero king. And they unfortunately were locked up behind a door. Uh, and, in the, and right outside the door was a nasty rat and some kind of a scary monster. But they said, oh, I wish we could be out in the sun and eat some nice ice cream. Oh, and uh, maybe also a hot dog. And I would like to have a smoothie. Said, we need to get out. We need to get a screwdriver so that we can unscrew the doors. But luckily there was a, a angel <laughs> and a fairy. And the fairy said, you can have three wishes if you want. And the queen said, I would like to have some new shoes. That's a strange wish. And the king said, even strangely, I also want to have some shoes then. And then for the second one, they said, let's do something with animals. And the queen said, I wish there could, uh, that the sharks could have legs like spiders. And that's a weird wish. And then the other one said, well, if that's the case, the queen said, I want to have a snail. And the snail should swing the trees like the monkeys. That's such a weird story that we should write a book about it. Now, drum roll. Because drum roll from a robot. Because the last wish was, I wish that robots could fly in the sky like an airplane or at least go skiing. And the king said, well, now I only have one, get it, one wish left. I wish that the trolls would move all the way to the moon and have a fight with the man-eating plants. And all I will do is live with my sun crab and eat some skewers. And once upon a time, third story, once upon a time, there was a baby, a, gi a giraffe who lived in Paris and played the trumpet. She played it on the, uh, on the uh, train and on the boat. She played together with, wait a minute, played together with her friend the elephant. No, they wanted to buy a house. They wanted to buy a house together with his friend the elephant uh, who had, they had a band. They were a trio, get it? A trio. The third man, the third person in the band was a 
cow who played the instrument, the starfish. Which whistles? Now, they said, okay, we need to fix this. Why do we need to fix it? We need to build the wall. Why do we need to build the wall? There has been a, a volcanic eruption. The giraffe said, I will fix the pants and the jackets. Oh, and the cap. And the cow said, well, I will eat the flower. Uh, and whoever finishes task first will get some earphones, but everyone at the end will get some candy. Here we have 80 different nuggets to remember, all put together into one story. By the way, this is from my friend Idris Sogai, which is like a memory card to help children and adults to improve their memory. So the trick here, of course, is that instead of memorizing cat, rocket ship, shirt, car, pot, I create a story that incorporates all that into one imag imaginary story. So you see, stories is not only for your audience to remember your speech. Stories are also for you to remember what you're going to say. So create your whole speech and build one big story around it, or if it's easy for you to remember, three separate small stories that connect to one big story. People remember speeches because they remember stories. Speakers remember their speeches because they, they create one beautiful long story that helps them communicate their message. That's the message today from me, Frederick Herring of Professional Speaking. Now go out there and become the best speaker that you can become by memorizing amazing stories about your message. <laughs> <laughs>